Such a good game from Atlas, Snowboard Kids. The graphics are great. Very happy to have this one. I'm telling you, if there's a series I recommend you pick up now rather than later, it's going to be the Snowboard Kids series. I see this game being the Pocky and Rocky for, you know, Pocky and Rocky for the Super Nintendo. I see this being like the Pocky and Rocky for N64. This game, some people have memories for, not everybody, but it holds up so well and it's so fun. And it was just not that popular. I mean, it's a third-party game. It's an Atlas game, so there's not that many copies out there. But make sure you pick these up now rather than later. They're only going to go up as more and more people discover how good the gameplay and the music is. Snowbird Kids 2, same thing goes for this. Get this one now before it goes up a lot. And I think it already has. I mean, I didn't pay much for either one of these. Probably maybe a quarter of what they go for now. I think this one's like $100 complete in box. Crazy. But I'm telling you, probably five years from now, people are going to say, what? Snowboard Kids 2, 100 bucks complete in box. That's a steal. I mean, look at look at games like Pocky and Rocky 2 now. They didn't make a ton of copies of this game, and to find it in pristine condition complete in box is going to cost you an arm and a leg in the future. So bite the bullet, get this one out of the way, buy it now. South Park, the first person snowball thrower this game is pretty garbage i remember just being very intrigued at the fact that you could walk around the town of south park that was the draw but going back and playing it now it's unbelievable how much fog there is and it's kind of virtually unplayable in my my opinion star soldier for the n64 this is the very <laughs> obscure genre for the system which is the the shooter the shoot 'em up I've heard this game is mediocre, but, I mean, you take what you can get on the N64, and if this is the only shoot 'em up and you're into them, I recommend picking it up. I have not played it yet. StarCraft 64. I had fun playing this game when I was younger, but I had more fun playing it on PC. This is also a game that's not easy to find and is especially expensive complete in box. So, yeah, you might want to get this one out of the way now, too. Star Wars Racer. The best cheap game for the system, I always say. I just went back and played this one the other day. I always play this game. If you're into racing games, you have to get this one. It's a must-own, and hell, it's so cheap, everybody might as well pick it up. Star Wars Rogue Squadron. I've only played one mission in this game, but I look forward to going through and playing it eventually. I hear a lot of good things about it, and I just watched Glenn Plant review this recently, and I enjoyed his review, by the way. <laughs> Star Wars Shadows of the Empire, one of the first games I had for the N64. I liked it a lot back then, but it's one of those games I was never able to beat and I had to cheat through, but I'd still go back and pick my favorite levels out and play it. There's a lot of fun to be had in this game, and if you're into Star Wars, definitely pick this one out. Super Mario 64, what more can I say that already hasn't been said? The levels, the music, everything about this game is very very like top notch and still is go back and play and the controls are still incredible like how tight the controls are yeah this is a true 10 out of 10 game in my opinion another game i go back and play all the time now super smash bros 64. now the thing that's interesting about this game is it keeps shooting up in price this one's looking at around 50 dollars card only right now so somehow complete in box is going for like around 80. Now this one I wouldn't exactly say is going to be able to sustain that, and I think that you're going to notice it dropped down back to the $30 range soon, card only. I think there's a lot of hype. The Smash scene right now is kind of hot. This one will die down. It's, it's not going to always be this expensive. So, yeah, I don't recommend buying this game right now. Let it cool off, but otherwise this game is so good and my favorite fighter for the system. Star Fox 64, this is the smaller box version, the player's choice. Million Seller Edition. Uh, I also have the big box, and I'll get into talking about this one when I show you the big box. Superman 64, known for being awful. I've played this one about five minutes, and it is virtually unplayable. A series I am so happy to finally finish off, getting them all complete. Tony Hawk. These games are so much fun. I mean, I'm not into extreme sports at all, but I've always enjoyed these games. And the third one was the last game released for the system. So if there's another game that I can predict is definitely going to go up in price, it's this one. Right now, I paid $20 for this complete in box. There's a little bit of crushing on the box, but generally you can get this game for around $30. And I recommend getting this one now because 
not a whole lot of copies out there. Most of them are sealed that are out there because it was a late game and it didn't sell well. But if you're into Tony Hawk, I'd pick this one up. I'd pick this one up and I'd pick this one up. These games are so good and I play the Tony Hawk series all the time still. Have not played it. Triple Play Baseball 2000. Turok and Turok 2. I'm not that big of a fan of the series. I think I need to give it more of a shot. But... Yeah, I just haven't really played them a lot. What I have played has been okay, but nothing really worth writing home about. V Rally 99, have not played. Got it for super cheap recently, complete in box. Vigilante 8, 1 and 2. These games haven't held up that well, but I just remember back in the day, I used to be so excited renting these games and playing them against my friends. It was a very fun multiplayer game, so I think if, if you have a friend over, it probably is pretty fun to still play these. Wave Race 64, I've heard people say this game doesn't hold up well today. I think that's completely untrue. The music and the graphics still hold up very well, and the controls are also very good. It's very cheap, and I recommend everybody pick this one up. Win Back, another game that I recommend a lot of people should pick up, especially if you're into Metal Gear. This has very solid gameplay, and it's hard. I haven't gotten very far in it, but what I have played has been very good. Yoshi's Story. This is a fun game and it's quick to get through. It holds up well graphically and overall just a fun game. Not not the best for the system, but it, it still does its job very well. And the last of the small box N64 US releases. Got a couple copies of Ocarina of Time here. One is Collector's Edition, which by the way has been going up as much as like Chrono Trigger lately. It's crazy. I see, uh, I see collector's edition of Ocarina. Well, with it being such a good game and it being a collector's edition, I see that being a very expensive thing in the future. Uh, it's expensive already. Like I said, it's already around a hundred bucks, but I can easily see that going up more. What game is talked about more uh, as best of all time than this game? So I don't see. I mean, it's not just collectors. There's there's people out there that love this game so much they they, they might have this as their only complete box game in their small N64 library. But everybody's after this one. And then Majora's Mask, which I have beaten. I believe there's four temples in it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I've beaten three of them. But apparently, I'm not beating. I'm not playing the game right. I should be getting all the masks or getting more of them. I haven't really gotten any. So. Yeah, I need to go back and play this one more. I was playing it a little while back, but I like what I see. It's just a darker Ocarina of Time. I mean, Ocarina is still always going to be better than this to me, but there's plenty of people out there that say this game's better. So, you know, prove me wrong. Play through this one. You might like it more. Two complete in-box Japanese release games. You have Bang.io, which is a shooter, a shoot 'em up kind of style. I don't know. Bang.io is a pretty weird game, but for the N64 which lacked a lot of shooting em ups this game is it's pretty good it's pretty fun I, I played it for about a half an hour the other day and i did enjoy it and then this game sin is punishment if there's ever a reason to mod your system or get an n64 uh... from japan it's it's this game to me this is easily a top ten game for the system it's so good on rails star fox panzer dragoon kind of but you have some some movement. Uh, the controls are kind of wonky, but they're actually pretty interesting. And once you get, once you get a hold of the controls, it's very gratifying. Absolutely, 100% recommend everybody get this game because it's by far the best game that never came out in the United States. Last but not least, we have three big box games: Star Fox. This one is the best, best on rails game I've probably ever played and maybe ever will play the music the sound effects the voice acting the gameplay short but sweet there's a 3ds version but still doesn't exactly it doesn't satisfy me as much as playing this one pokemon stadium i love it for the mini games and i don't play the single player hey you pikachu have not touched this for now i thought i'd give you guys a little look at my complete inbox N64 collection. It's come a long way since just a few years ago when I really didn't have I didn't have any. But the good thing is I got in the game before most people, I want to say, because these prices have been going through the roof. I didn't pay I mean anything close to what they're going for now. So I'm just happy to have the 115 or 120 games I have now. 
There's still some that I want, but there's not that many that I'm going to go out of my way and pay a lot of money for. There's games like Pokemon Stadium 2. Um, honestly, I can't even think of that money that I really, really want. Um, obviously, Chameleon Twist 2, that was the number one complete box game I wanted, and I just ordered that, and it's on its way, so happy about that. Games like Star Wars Battle for Naboo, it's another game I'm looking to pick up. It's not going to cost me that much. The good thing is I have most of the expensive good games out of the way. In fact, I think I have all of them out of the way. So, just want to thank everybody for watching. It was a breath of fresh air to come back and make a video again. I forget how much fun it is to make these, and I hope I didn't ramble on for too long, but honestly, I could probably talk all day about just one of these games. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.